I need to mention one step more or one idea more if you are going to com uh, can be covered in one step transformation. Assume I have my data which represents the WGS84 site coming in WGS84 UTM projected. In this case, what will happen? Can we treat directly in datum and map like we did last time? Let us see and see how to solve the issue if an issue will appear. So I'm creating a project. It is data, the coordinate system is WG84 UTM38. It will be an empty project. After that, I'm going to import my text file which contains the coordinates in WGS84 UTM38. So clicking on import, I need to select my data. First, I need to define it is an ASCII file, and this is WGS84 UTM38. It is the same template east, north, and height. So there is no need to create a new template. And we have to be very careful that we selected last time the height as ellipsoidal. So this one will be the same. Now I'm going to import. This is my four points and I can see the coordinates of any of them. It is UTM coordinates. Okay, so now I want to make one step transformation from this project, which is containing the UTM projection of the WGS84 coordinates. Let us see how can I manage this. Can I do directly? So I'm going now to the file, tools, system manager and determine transformation one step second time as we mentioned it is one step transformation Height mode is ellipsoidal. So, next. My project, I need to select the latest project. Convert data WGS84 UTM. Actually, as you can see, I cannot see anything in the WGC84 coordinates but I can see the uh, data as a local site so actually if I want to select the KTM I can get the KTM coordinates but I'm still not able to get this one what is the reason behind that the reason that this project is considered as projected coordinate system. It is not WGS84. So if I want to use the data inside as WGS84, I have to make one step more. I have to cancel now. Returning back to my project. And I select point by point actually. This is my point. I'll go to WGC4 position and activate. As you can see, it is now active, and I click apply. I'm going to do the same step for every point I have. 
So I'm going to send second point. Activate. Then apply. Third point. Edit. Then apply. Last point. Edit. And then apply. Now, let us go back to data map map. So actually what we did we do in this step, we are making the WGS84 coordinates at the active one in the project. So I'm going back to tools. Coordinate system manager. Now I'll go for determine transformation. One step second time. This one step transformation. Height mode is ellipsoidal. Next. Project. Convert data WGC84 UTM. This time you can see points are appearing here. So I'm going to select the other one, which is a KTM. Now I have the points this side as WGC84 and that side as a local. Now I can make auto match and I can do like I did last time. Also, I can match point by point. If I want to match only one point, 0, 3 with 0, 3, I can select both of them and press the arrow to go down. I'm going one step next, the same as last time. The parameters can be created, and if I press finish, it will be stored. If I'm going, if I remove this one, it will be calculated and the report will be shown, and that's all. Thank you.